Hi guys, I'm here with my little baby girl. Uh, let's hope she is uh, okay with me making a video. I want to share with you guys that I'm, I'm um, investing in Tesla. Um, I hope uh, that uh, I have, will have bought over the next week. But um, yeah, uh, I'm very, very happy to see uh, that it's crashing finally because um, I was interested in, to invest in Tesla, but there was so much hype around it a year ago. Uh, price had just been going up basically since it launched on the stock exchange. It launched uh, about around 2012 or 2013 at about 20 US dollars and then it went up to 200 US dollars four years later or so in 2016. Uh, and then it went, it was there for a couple of years. No, sorry, uh, let's say 2014 was 200 US dollars and then um, it shot to 400 US dollars. It was around 400 US dollars the past few years, the past three years, but the last year it's been uh, dropping a lot from about 400 to about 200 now. But that means that the price of 200 US dollars is about the same as, as it was 400 year, uh, sorry, four years ago, uh, but it's still 10 times higher than the IPO. But the IPO was in 2012 or so. And at that time, Tesla hadn't produced any car yet. Huh? So that was a very different time. I don't think you can compare the IPO story with today. Uh, um, um, like it has, at the, at the time when it was, IPO and it was $20 per share. Um, it was a, a speculative bet with uh, uh, a lot of dreams about building an, uh, an electrical uh, car company, but will it work? Uh, it was not certain at the time, but today we know it did work and uh, and they are the market leader uh, and the competition is, is, is starting. Um, the other big brands, car brands are also making electrical vehicles now, but they have a serious lead and uh, very likely uh, they will grow much bigger. So the market cap is now about 30 billion, 35 billion. And I think that's relatively cheap uh, because the biggest companies in the world, they're about 500 billion, 1 trillion, uh, like Apple. I don't know how much it is now, but Microsoft, for example, also peaked out at 1 trillion uh, in the year 2000. Okay, that was the highest valuation ever. Uh, but 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 since then Apple also reached that valuation a couple of years back. But but the biggest companies and these are tech companies like Google and Facebook, they usually are worth like 500 billion or so, or 600, 700 billion. So 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 Tesla is worth about uh, 20 times less. But Tesla certainly has the potential to become the biggest company in the world, um, um, and, and even much bigger than these tech companies because tech companies Microsoft, Google. Facebook, what are they selling? Uh, advertising huh? uh, on their platforms. They are, of course, great companies, but it's still just basically websites uh, um, or operating software in the case of Microsoft. Uh, and um, this is a very different. This is a combination of tech and cars. Huh? Um, uh, yeah, it's a little bit... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, I think there is huge, huge, huge potential here, and of course, uh, you're always investing in, 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 in the person that leads it. It all depends on him, um, uh, on Elon Musk. Eh? Uh, but he has proven already that he's just not only a, a genius but also a workhorse uh, a, a, and a visionary eh? um, that makes things happen that other people do not succeed in, uh, not even close. Eh? Like there is a big difference between, uh, I think, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. Uh, uh, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs were great, uh, uh, but they stayed within their uh, industry. Um, oh, of course, uh, Steve Jobs also built actually um, uh, another company. Um, uh, what was the name? Uh, the animation uh, studio, uh, DreamWorks, I think it was. So, so it was, he was able to go outside his industry also and build something from the ground up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think um, this is very interesting because I, I've been looking for an alternative investment next to crypto. And if you look back at my videos, I was looking at stock indexes com combined with gold. That's indeed a very secure investment. 
but the returns are like 7% per year, but yeah, 5% is a real inflation. So you only have like 2% return, uh, real return. What's an alt a good alternative to that? Well, it's, it's, it's investing in a, in a, in a big company um, where the risk reward ratio is still very good. That's also relatively safe. And I think uh, Tesla is actually a very safe investment there is a very small probability it goes broke, but actually even that is not really realistic. Like, yes, it's true that Elon Musk is over leveraged. <laughs> he always has been. He's he's betting everything on on on, on a story. Uh, he, all his own money he put into his companies uh, when he sold PayPal in 2000. He uh, he put all his money in Tesla. Uh, also started at the same time SpaceX and also started that. Um, uh, um, tunnel company, uh, the boring company, but that was later. But in uh, basically, he, he bets everything, and then he's also borrowing a lot of money. Um, uh, so, so he really leverages. That's of course also how he gets such uh, enormous, spectacular growth. But, and of course that is dangerous because, um, for example, I hear that he's has been borrowing against his own stock holdings. He borrows money, and then with that money. Well, uh, 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 it's collateralized with his stocks, but if his stocks drop through the floor in value, like it's starting to happen today, then he might get margin calls and and, and they might like um, sell off his stock to get be sure to be paid back, uh, making the price uh, go even lower. Uh, and uh, so, so there, there there are these risks, but. The thing is that, that Tesla is such an amazing story that, 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 that there are many very rich companies like <coughs> Google uh, and, 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 and who else? Um, uh, these big tech companies, uh, Facebook, Microsoft, like they are very happy to buy Tesla. Uh, um, if Tesla gets in trouble, they will place a bit and they will buy it and they will buy it out. Uh. Um, they already placed a bit, I think, was it? Google, I think, offered 30 billion, was it at the time? I don't know exactly offer the offer, but that was five years ago or so. Um, they already tried to buy it out. Uh, so these, these companies, they're very, very rich. They sit on so much cash, hundreds of billions of cash uh, in their bank accounts. Like They have no idea in what to invest it, oh, clearly. <laughs> huh? They have much more cash than ideas. And so if they can like branch into a a new sector uh, like Tesla has succeeded in doing, becoming a market leader in, in, in the car car industry for electrical vehicles, um, they will of course buy that. Uh, so so there is a floor here, even if Elon Musk uh, fucks up and, uh, and and the price of the stock um, goes so deep that, that, that the company can't um, fulfill its obligation, has to default, there will be someone buying the thing of course. So there is a downwards. Um, floor here huh? it's not like the, the the value of the stock dropped from 400 to 200 and oh my god it can go to zero no no that's, that's, that's not true huh? oh my am i am i am well think you know how to she's also talking huh does uh yeah so so um i'm very happy uh, because in crypto uh, it's been a tough time for me um uh market uh, is not collapsing for the time being uh, and so um, yeah my question is um, what can I do I cannot do anything but put up my uh, my uh, my offers and, and hope for the market to come to them and maybe the, the market will come to it or maybe not but um, but it's really great to see an opportunity pop up out of nowhere for me uh, like yes I'm all, I've always been interested in Tesla but when you see I know I wasn't following Tesla and so when you see on your Twitter suddenly a lot of like yeah um, bitching and moaning about Tesla that's uh, well that's ex exactly uh, how you should be uh, investing I think um, when you see positive news appearing in your news feed uh, about something like people today see about crypto like mm -hmm, crypto is going well again and eh? maybe I should invest again well actually that's not the time to invest because it means it just went up a lot Inversely, when you see in your news media feed um, some company or uh, but a lot of bad news around it, ah, that uh, that does trigger my interest. And if it's a company like Tesla, a one of a kind, uh, 
Um, that's really great news. So I'm very happy I get that opportunity and I certainly will not squander it. Uh, I will buy it and um, yeah, um, very happy with that. Uh, so, so it will be for maybe 10, 20% of my portfolio uh, and um, uh, I still keep my uh, bits up for crypto. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I think I will lower my uh, target to buy crypto. Um, I was planning to go to 90% and sometimes 100%, but I think I will lower that to maybe 80% uh, exposure at the, at the uh, like maybe uh, my last exposure, maybe my last buy. I was thinking, yeah, actually, yeah, I will keep that for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta-da!